Hey YouTube, this is my uh, Hobie 13. Um, I did a video on it a couple of years ago. My daughter likes shooting videos, so we decided to do another video on my newer model. Um, everybody's pretty much seen everything I've done to this one. A couple of new stuff done to it, but I did the same thing to this one. So we'll go to my 2014. I've had this one about a year now, almost a year. In May it'll be a year. Actually in March. March it'll be a year. Um, one of the newer things that I did to it was I made this paddle clip because I like using a full paddle. I don't like that half paddle. I, um, I took this piece here. This is a piece that it comes with. This top piece. It screws in. It normally screws in back here. Uh, I think right here. Well, I went ahead and I bought a piece of uh, PVC T. It's open on one end for some reason. I don't know why. But I um, bought it for the threads for this piece and I threaded it in. And then I took a heat gun and melted it so it would grip tight on the bar. So it, it doesn't come off. But it doesn't move easy either. I can put it down here or I can bring it up here. Um, and it just paddle clips in like that. So when I need it real fast, I can leave it unhooked. I don't have to hook it. But anyway, it goes like that. Um, so I did that. And then everybody knows about my uh, pole holder here that I made. I did a, I did a video on my other one. I made one for this one too. Um, I had a guy ask me the measurements of it. Actually, I didn't take, me you know, I didn't write down all the measurements I made it. I just did it by eye. Um, but I, I would say the pieces in between the, the these here and this one, the elbow, is uh, probably about three and a half inches. There's about an inch gap between each rod. And then I took a wine bottle, heated the ends up, shoved it in there, maneuvered it until uh, I got the flared end or ends and then um, I mean you can pretty much see how it uh, how I made it it's all the elbows so if you want to make one I'll do a slow view of it so you can get an idea how I did it I mean you can make it pretty much the way you want to but in case you want to make it that way um, I like it where it's kind of tilted back towards the back of the boat so it's not sticking straight up. Um, a lot of guys say there's an issue with when you're fighting the fish, the rods get in the way. I've never had that problem. So I guess it's what you uh, desire. Anyway, I got the black pack here. I had that on my other boat. Um, it holds a lot of tackle. I mean, it's a great, great thing, the black pack. And then, um, moving on, I got fish grips. Everybody should have these. And then uh, the line cutters. These are the, they're for the um, cut and braided line. Mono, you can use nail clippers, but you got to use these for the braided line. And then I've got my Lowrance, uh GPS Elite DSi. That's great. I wish I, I'm thinking about uh, moving up to the, the Lowrance 7 though. It's a bigger screen, a little more options. And then I've got the Ram rod holders. I prefer these over a lot of the newer ones. Um, they're sturdy. I can maneuver them. So you can see how I can put them like this. I, can, I lay them down like this when I'm traveling. This way I just leave them on the boat. I don't have to take them off. And then um, I had to drill out the bottoms. Of course, I did that in my other video. I drilled out the bottoms so the rods can go all the way through. Because if not, they, uh, they um, kind of they'll sit way up here like this. And as you can see, it's not very sturdy. So I drilled out the bottoms. Now I can feel more comfortable that they're not going to fall out. And then this here... I made this. It's a tray I I think a client gave them to me. They go in a, like some kind of tool tool uh, cabinet for the garage. Um, she didn't have any use for them so she gave them to me. I've got like three or four of them. She said she bought them at 
I think Lowe's or Home Depot, I'm not sure. But um, anyway, all I do is I took a piece of PVC, put a top or a cap on it, you know, drilled a hole in it, hole in it. And then uh, it slides in there and it holds uh, lures. I can hang lures on the outer part. I can keep stuff inside of it. So I kind of like that. Works out pretty good. And then, uh, of course, the vantage seating. Everybody knows the seating. Um, you know, it adjusts all the different ways. You know, yeah, great seat. Um, storage. Of course, I've got my radio, GPS. I had a guy ask me about uh, how did I register it. Um, you go on the site and um, you go to, I forget where I went, but you had to go to a certain part of the website and all you got to do is uh, put in what, what kind of vessel it is and so on and so on and they'll still issue you a uh, um, number. Anyway, even though it's a kayak um, and it's not registered. So, um, oh and then I did my cutting board. A uh, guy on YouTube did it, um, I forget what his name is, but I seen it when I bought my 2013, a couple of years ago, and so I went ahead and I ordered all the parts and I did it, and it, it's great, I like it, and then, um, so yeah, I can hang stuff on it, I can put my pliers in it, I don't ever use this stuff, I just use it for cutting, the only time I really use it is live bait. So most of the time it sits in there if I don't need it in the storage up front. And then uh, my micro power pole. I love that thing. Um, it's got remote here. I can I can um, push the button and it goes down. Sticks in the ground. I raise it up, two clicks, and it comes back up. It automatically, it automatically comes back out about three or four inches, so it's not so top heavy. Um, and then, uh, of course, the GoPro. That guy Brandon on YouTube, he made a video a long time ago about that where this extends out I never extend it out it's uh, GoPro's got such a wide view that you can leave it in you don't have to go that far out so really you don't even need this setup I think uh, Hook One or one of them companies make uh, one that's about that long and it works fine um, except this was probably a lot cheap well after you buy all the materials no it's probably more expensive Anyway, um, I've got an anchor trolley here. The uh, company in Pinellas Park called Tackle Shack, they uh, hooked my kayak up. And they use stainless steel. So, and they use a heavier rope. I love the, the anchor trolley. It's a lot more sturdier than the, the ones that you buy from Hobie. And uh, let's see, what else? Oh, and then... Uh, the micro power pole comes with um, a wireless uh, controller for it, remote, that you can put around your neck. So you don't have to, uh, you can either use that or you can use this. If you're like, say you're walking in the flats, you can uh, anchor your boat or you can, if, if you're up current, you want it to float to you, you just lift up the pole and let it float back to you until it catches it, until you get to it. Um, so, that's that. And then, uh, oh, I did the same thing on this one. I, I don't know, you probably can't see them, but I put lights under here. Tackle Shack did it, yeah, you can't see them. Oh, actually the battery's not even hooked up. I've got a battery under here. No, in this one the battery's up front. On my other one the battery's underneath the seat. On this one, 
On this one, the battery is underneath, attached to the sail mount. So, but yeah, it's not hooked up, but it's got lights. Um, on the on the yellow one, I've got red and white. On the the tan one, I've got uh, blue and white for night fishing. And then and then I got the the Hobie uh, flag which has a light for night fishing and I guess that's about it my main thing is uh, I wanted to show you the, the micro power pole this thing is it's, it's so cool man for a kayak I mean you got you got up and then it pole pulls out you just put the pole in double click it and it will go all the way down stick in the ground yeah, it pulsates. It's like pushing itself down into the ground farther. If it was sand, it would go in, but seeing I'm in grass. And then uh, double, oh, double click it, it'll go back up, and then it should come back down a little bit. Yep. Um, you can read your battery life on here. See, it's got full life. I just charged it, so. And then. Um, you double click the or hold both buttons down and it'll adjust the the settings on it. It's got a, a pull switch here in case you get wedged in somewhere and you want to lower it. It'll automatically lower or you know pull out of the water. So but I don't think I'll ever have to use that. Anyway, that is my new uh, Hobie Pro Angler. Uh, 2014, 14 foot, and my next one I want to get a Hobie uh, Outback, 2015. They're pretty nice. I'm sure by the time they do come around with the six, 2016s, they'll put the they'll go from the round tray or uh, storage container to the the square one because um, a lot of guys are actually taking out the round one, cutting the hole bigger, and putting these in. So I'm sure Hobie's going to see that everybody's doing that. And by 2016, 2017, they'll probably put the square one in. I don't know if, if it, I would think it would affect the warranty if you do it yourself. So who knows. But anyway, that's my Hobie 2014. Thanks for watching.